We are doing another session for our uh, microsurgical resurgence. This platform we initiated to keep the microsurgery alive. Microsurgery started with the father of microsurgery, Professor Yashar Gil. Our role is to keep it alive. I don't think anybody else other than Professor Ture playing an important role in this field, keeping the microsurgery alive. Just brief introduction about the Professor Ture, although he doesn't need any introduction, he spent a lot of time in Zurich under the guidance and supervision of Professor Yashar Gil and learned the neuroanatomy, studied the neuroanatomy, and he's the one who resurrected, rejuvenated the fiber dissection techniques and came up with the different ideas, different techniques, and also lighten up to the things we didn't know about, uh, many things about the fiber dissection. Professor Treer's uh, role in not only in the clinical microsurgery, neuroanatomy, but he also involved in the organized neurosurgery. He was the uh, organizer and the host of the World Federation Neurosurgical Mating in Istanbul. He is a former Turkish Neurosurgical Society president. And he has so many publications, so you guys don't need to hear that. But if Ur Ture, Professor Ture, is talking about the truth, that's the truth. And this is all about microsurgery and microsurgical truth. I'm thrilled, very excited, and I learn a lot from him. I have him today. Uh, please, Professor Ture, I don't want to take too much time. And then we'll ask Professor Yashar Gil, after your talk, give his wisdom about the midbrain gliomas. Professor, thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Professor Yashargil, Professor Bashkaya, dear friends, colleagues, teachers, mentors. It's great honor for me to join this special uh, webinar. I would like to thank Bashkaya again for such a uh, organization. Yes, the microsurgery is in attack. Professor Yashargil was mentioning this 30 years ago, and I thought that it is not possible. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. <laughs> but now I understand. <laughs> it is the reality. You know, if there is a better option, it's more than welcome. But still, there, there is no alternative for micro neurosurgery. So we are trying to use micro neurosurgery for our patients. And we are trying to, at least I am trying to improve my quality of micro neurosurgical technique. So this evening, uh, I would like to talk about the uh, midbrain gliomas, microneurosurgical management of midbrain gliomas. We were planning to do a meeting in the future of microneurosurgery in Istanbul uh, last June, but because of the COVID-19, it was not possible. And it looks like 21 is not possible. And I would like to invite you uh, to this meeting in June 22. I hope, <laughs> if the COVID-19 give permission. Thank you for your attention. Professor Ture, I don't have the words to describe your uh, talk. As always, I myself uh, enjoyed very much and very thoughtful analysis of your cases and the surgical approaches based on your uh, extensive neuroanatomical knowledge. And also, I congratulate you for the, your super, super microsurgical skills. We have a Great names with us. I would like to ask, uh, I see Yuha uh, with us, uh, Yuha Ernest Niemi, Professor Ernest Niemi, and most importantly, our father of microsurgery, Professor Yashar Gil, is uh, intensely, carefully watching us. Uh, I'll give the last word to the professor. Hello, Ogur. Great respect. It was a wonderful lecture. I cannot, I have to remain extremely humble because this is uh, totally new level of neurosurgery achieved. I don't have any access anymore after my retirement from Helsinki to my own cases. And uh, uh, I have to confess that uh, I don't have the uh, enough anatomical knowledge to discuss all these approaches. This is a wonderful series greatest respect and this is really what you said uh, microneurosurgery stays alive create cases this level at this level when microneurosurgery continues so it cannot be beaten by other methods so greatest respect to this series i don't want to discuss in details 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you are. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's wonderful words, and I I echo everything you said. Now I'll give last word to Professor Yashargil. Professor, please uh, share us uh, your wisdom and few comments on Professor Tres' uh, presentation. Thank you for joining us. It's a great honor to have you with us. 30th January 2021. This day is a remarkable, historically remarkable day in the history of neurosurgery in micro neurosurgery. You saw advanced micro neurosurgery presented by Professor Ture. And I enjoyed very much also your systemal approaches by Professor Vashkaya properly. My congratulations. First of all, also, I'd like to in thank you. You invited me to participate and observe. Now, it is also a historical day because this electronic global university is now available. And it is much effective. Imagine the lecture of Professor Ture showing us some 10, 15 cases to read them, need more time. So he focused and presented us perfectly. This is a great advance. Now, I like to tell you, as I started 1953 in Zurich micro neurosurgery, at that time, it could be diagnosed some 20, 30 precise the lesions. And then the, we developed the stroscopic angiography serial and came to the point some 150 precise diagnosed lesions in brain and spinal cord. And nowadays, we have some 500 lesions prediction site, all in so-called septal areas in brain and spinal cord. Septal regions you have to study for A. I explained there a little. Now, it was a compact lecture by Professor Ture in in perfect surgery, we didn't see well the surgery, but the documentation is perfect. He has in Istanbul in his hospital, but I'm watching since seven and a half years, a perfect installation. His team is excellent with neuroanesthesia with Professor Hadija Ture, and then nurses and assistant and all operates are there. And especially in neuroradiology, Mrs. Zeynep Frapp, she made all these tractographies. And this is a great help. I presented in volume for A and B, some cases about the microsurgery of the gliomas. And I don't have a 50, but I, Remember some 10 cases in mesencephalon. There are exactly some six, six segments which can be approached from anterior, from posterior, and lateral, it, it depends. At that time, we didn't have any tractography. And interestingly, the patients and the family mostly in, have been pushing to do something, they said, hey, the patient is leaving, leaving us. We have to do something. And if something negative happened, and we are happy the patient left the world in your hands. It's a very interesting remarks. And if you look in the volume for A and B, some mesencephalic lesions, I, didn't like to operate and I was fearful and reluctant, but I made it and without the stratigraph and they came very well out, especially polycystic astrocytomas. 
it is a great. So in brain, we can operate each 500 places precisely. What we need for this precise knowledge in bone anatomy, cisternal anatomy, and geographic vessel anatomy, and parenchymal anatomy. I made a, maybe around 20 cadaver brain dissection, but I observed more than 200 cases in courses by Professor Ture. He is expert, he, op he dissected at almost 500 brain, his cadaver brains. The point is, he said, no, rather is that important? I would say, yes, it's very important. Important is to catch it in, in three dimensions in the brain and then apply it to the patient's brain. And now, we have been in Zurich fortunate to have a stroscopic angiography ser serial. And we, we have been sitting in the brain. Now we don't have this stereoscopic MRI. You should insist it to catch the stereoscopic MRI. Then you will be able to develop in your brain stereoscopic picture. And there is a great man also, the neuro artist from Leipzig, Germany. He was taken at the end of the 20th century, 19th century to Baltimore on Johns Hopkins and good, good Professor Cushing and Professor Dandy have been happy to have him. He installed there a neuro artistic center. He made a beautiful drawing, animatic drawing, three dimensional. And he explained in one paper, if you like to make an object precise drawing, you must catch it in in every aspects. It should sit in your brain. The point is what I like to say is Ture has the anatomy in his brain. And, he, and I watched him now since seven year. Be beautiful, he knows how to go, how to dissect it. I enjoyed also to see. Professor Hernes Siem in Helsinki, how his approach to the basilar bifurcation. I enjoyed also Dr. Christ, Professor Christ in Little Rock, how he approached transcavernous to the basilar tip aneurysms, very precise surgery. Then I enjoyed on one on AVM cases by Evandro. Hey, Evandro, I hope you are listening also. We miss, miss him. Now, to tell again, it was a great hour to see the advanced micro neurosurgery. It can be well applied in, in each, each type. Oh, I forget. Professor Sami in Hanover invited me twice, and I saw him how he prepares beautiful schwannoma microsurgically. And these are the points. We have to have the neuroanatomy in our own brain to apply to the patient. I congratulate your advances on all your meeting here, and I wish best for the next feature. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. As always, a uh, great pleasure and honor to have you with us. And thank, thank you. you for sharing your wisdom, experience, and thank under you. your leadership, we'll carry this flag of microsurgery. Thank Professor Ture, many others, and the younger generation, we will need to keep the microsurgery alive. Microsurgery sure. is under attack, but we will survive, and we will do best to our patients. And we'd like to have you in the future, one of our, our keynote lecturers, I forget to tell, I tried to give in six volume neuroanatomy, as you know. And now I am preparing another volume. <laughs> These are new aspects, which are very important. You will enjoy. I am still intact. <laughs> I hope <laughs> I, will, I will finish this book. <laughs>
you will you will professor you will uh, best wishes for you all thank you very much thank you very much best wishes to you and Diane Yashargil as well thank you very much thank you all it's hard to stop because this is in our heart it's hard to stop when we talk about microsurgery this is something we love and I again thank you thank you very much professor Uğur Ture uh, professor Yashargil uh, professor Hernes Niemi professor Doan uh, uh, and many other professors and participants joining us in the, this hour of Saturday in the weekend. We'll continue this series and we'll keep the microsurgery alive.